Hello viewers. It's winter time in the Rust Belt again, and you know what that means. The salt trucks are coming. So, in order to combat the salt getting slung up in your undercarriage, I'm going to go and uh, shoot a coat of fluid film underneath the car. Now, I put a coat on it last year borrowing my buddy's kit and this year I decided to get my own um, I got the fluid film brand because the reviews on the off-brand one were pretty bad and I just wanted it to work you know it's miserable enough laying underneath there spraying this stinky stuff around yeah so I didn't really feel like having a gun that didn't work properly so apparently this one's supposed to work good now it comes with the uh, extension hoses the extension hoses are good because a lot of modern vehicles have uh, boxed in frames and the boxed in frames might be good for uh, rigidity but they're not good for longevity uh, because they get a bunch of salt and water trapped inside and rust out so you could take these extension hoses screw them onto your gun here and then feed them through all the little holes in the side of your frame from and, and uh, you know coat the inside of the frame which is probably the most important thing it says here in the brochure long-lasting non-toxic for all metals and uh, the reason I'll just be honest I don't believe that rubberized undercoating people like to spray it their cars work at all I've seen it done and if most people, you know, they have a rusty frame or something and they go buy some of that rubberized undercoating and then they go to town and then that stuff just immediately peels off and it's just, it, it doesn't, I don't think it stops the rust or even slows it down. I think it accelerates it. So you need something oily. Have you ever been underneath like an old Chevy truck because they're always leaking oil? And maybe the whole truck's rusted out, but up front, you'll see where the oil's been slung around and it's got dirt on it. And you scrape that grime, oily dirt away, and it's like a brand new truck underneath that. So, you know, you see that. That's what got me thinking. I think coating it with some type of oily stuff is the way to go. Now, it's a good idea to have the underside of your car somewhat clean before you spray this stuff. You know, you don't want to just spray it straight over top of dirt. You want it to get on the frame. you can see in there but uh, that's what it looks like it's kind of like a greasy substance kind of like axle grease so I got a paint stirring stick I'm gonna stir it up a little bit it has a pretty strong smell to it that isn't um, I don't know it's not a horrendous smell but it's not a good smell either so I came up with a better loading system for this sprayer you put I cut a 20 ounce pop bottle in half stuck it in here this is a lot easier to get this fluid film in that because the opening of the bottle is so small so you just load this up and then you take a pop can just shove it in there. That works really good.
Well, I got it all done. It took me about an hour, hour and a half. Um, the spray, the spray gun worked good. The extension wands, I couldn't get those working. I'm not ready to blame the kit though. I think it more had to do with the, how cold it was. It was 30 degrees. I might try and heat up the fluid film next time. See if it makes it work better. But uh, should be good for another year of protection. I gotta keep these old cars around as long as possible because you know, new cars just aren't built like this. You get a piece of mud slung in one of your 500 computer modules to roll the windows up and down and the car's totaled. So, gotta keep this old junk going as long as we can. So, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.